Okay guys, a couple of requests people wanted me to try. Uh, that's great. If anybody's got requests um, or something you want me to try or go about testing this coil, since I have this wire foam on here, it's a little different and some other things going on. So I'll be glad to do so. Send me a message or leave me a comment. Uh, right now, basically I have my pulse width modulator on, but it's pretty much being bypassed because it's all the way up. Um, <clears throat> so pretty much I'm running 24 volt DC uh, directly into my coil. It's still running at a frequency um, and it's probably not a hundred percent of the voltage but it's still it's almost all the way up um, I'll go ahead and turn it on real quick and get the meters and I'll show you uh, people ask me levitating screw here or uh, floating screw whatever you want to call it try it different orientation sideways upside down things like that so that's what I'm going to do this this video I'll go ahead and turn it on I'm at uh, right at like 25 volt um, Putting in seven and a half amps. Uh, frequency, it's actually showing at 0.36. Uh, jumped up a little. I must have bumped it. Uh, four kilohertz. Um, and in case you were curious, well, that's kind of interesting. Getting more other than I thought. My output coil is still hooked up here to this yellow meter, <clears throat> and it's uh, oh, it's at 115 volts DC. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off, and I'll show you. Well, I'll just show you this first. Uh, I set this screw in here and it floats. Um, kind of push it around, it kind of bounces. But uh, it's just sitting in there. It's not spinning. Um, it's just suspended magnetically. So I'll go ahead and shut it off. And uh, I'll set the camera up so you can see different angles of this. Okay, so somebody wanted me to try it sideways. See if I can zoom out. So it's it's standing up right now on its side, just holding it. Um, it's not on yet. I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna put the screw in there. Now the screw actually has to be up a little higher because it wants to fall down. So I'll go ahead and show you. Okay, I've got it on. Maybe. Gotta get it just right. There you go. So it's stand it's sideways. Um, if you can't see that, there you go. See if I can turn it for you while it's on. It's getting pretty hot. It's actually kind of trying to burn my hands. Oh, there it fell. But you can do it sideways. You gotta get it. Uh, you gotta get it kind of just right. It's not in the center, like I said, but uh, it is suspended sideways. Uh, now I'm going to show you upside down. All right, now I've got you underneath the rodent coil. Go on here. I'm just standing on some wood. Um, I'm going to set you right here, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and show you that I can float this screw upside down like this on my finger. So there we got it on. Just got my finger sitting here, and there you go. So it's just sitting on my finger. As you can see, I'll try to get up here. Oh, hold on. The coil's getting hot. I need to let it cool off. I can't hold my hand on it. I'll try it again. As you can see, it wants to jump off. You gotta get it just right, and it will, it will uh, stay in there. You almost gotta go past center though, or so it doesn't work. There you go. So the screw's just floating in there on my finger. Let's see if I can get you up in there. So I'm going to shut this thing off because it's getting hot and I'll show you some other stuff. Okay, guys. Somebody wanted me to take a plastic tube of some sort <clears throat> and hold it in here, I guess, so they can see the uh, screw suspend or whatever I put in here suspend in the uh, magnetic field so for that person I've got it I don't know your username I would say so sorry uh, I'll go ahead and flip it on here I've got the screw I'm just gonna drop it in this tube you can watch it went past now there you go I can pull it up I think you can see that let me zoom in so any which way I go on here the screw is just floating in there 
see if I can get a top shot it's a little better. It doesn't matter where I go, I am floating there. It wants to go the direction that my coil is, whichever way is closest. Um, if I get it right in the center, it's kind of hard to see, but you know, you can almost get it to float in there in the very middle. If you get it just right. Uh, let me stick some more objects in here. I've got uh, this is a let me zoom out. This is a rod, welding rod, and uh, it actually magnetizes very well. I can get it to I can get it to float in here pretty well on my finger. So it'll stay in the middle. So there you go, it's not hitting anything as far as anything else. It's not going very good for me guys. Here you go. There you are. So I can actually move it in the direction it wants to go. It's hard to see from your angle. See if you can see my fingertip come all the way out of there. Like I said, it works better if it's off center. So there you go, I see it on my finger. It is just suspending there. See, when I go left or right, it pulls the bottom out. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'm going to try dropping this through this tube. Oh, same deal. You can see no matter which way I move the tube, it stays in there. I don't know, just some experiments some people wanted me to try, so I did. Um, anything else you guys want me to try, I'll do it. I'll find the time. Here I have a uh, pretty good size bolt. I'm going to try to... Uh, whoa, that sucked out of my hand. I'm going to try to suspend it in here. It really wants to float. It's pretty cool. Um, it's kind of neat how it does that. I can get it to hold its own weight. I'm not actually holding it. You can see how it's floating in there. It is holding its own weight up. Can't really get it to suspend on my finger. Because if I push down too far, it wants to fall out of the field. Maybe that's just sitting on my hand. Get the camera down there. And flip it over. And it really wants to stay in there. Anyway, that's it for now.